Hello everyone, my name is QBM and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some rhythm. Uh, so I don't want to talk about how long it's been since I've made a video. And this is what we're going to be making today. Let's just get right into this. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a very simple drum pattern because Rhythm has simple drum patterns. I'm going to pick a kick. Okay, there we go. Let's pick that. It doesn't really matter too much. It's really about what we do with it in post. And then I'm going to pick a clap sample. Okay. And then I'm going to make a pattern somewhat like this. Now I decided that I hate that kick. It took me two seconds to decide that. Let's pick a different one. There we go. I like that. Now let's go into our post real quick and EQ these a little bit. Add some compression. I'm going to just pick a preset real quick, a punchy drums. Let's pick that, add some reverb. Okay, great. Now let's grab some side chaining. I want it to be kind of heavy. I'll make a curve like that. Eight steps. We will set that to every eight steps. Awesome. Then I'll make a second pattern right here and I'll use that for our hi hats. Um, I'm trying to pick some more natural sounding stuff for rhythm because that's what I hear in the symbols at least. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, uh, in my uh, template project, I have it routed so the symbols are going through the side chain already. Because the hardest thing I want is my drums. That's really what I want on most of that to come from. And now I'm going to cut a little bit out of that mid. Awesome. And then I'll also add some compression to that. Great. Okay. Now we're going to set up some bases real quick. Um, now you don't want to use presets or samples for everything, um, but it's okay to use a couple. I like to make presets before, uh, like when I'm in a sound design mood, and then use them later, because uh, I don't like doing sound design when I need to. It's not going to turn out as good as when I'm just going to make one in general. And maybe comb filter. Let's see, it appears that I already added one before. Uh, let's pick reverb. Okay, now we can go into this pattern real quick. Uh, into the pattern. Let's say we're going to be in E then. Okay, cool. So that's pretty simple. Let's see what this sound is. Nah, nope. Maybe OTT before that reverb. Just a little bit, there we go. Okay, let's put these on the off beats now. Okay, and then we'll put these here. Okay, we'll try moving this LFO forward a little more. Okay, we'll add another bass, like so, we'll put that in there, and I'll go and find, let's, uh, let's actually just design this one real quick. Okay, 
I don't really know what I'm going for, but I want something nice and quick to fill in these gaps. So we'll just mess around and see what happens. It might be good, it might be bad. If it's bad, you'll probably have it cut right now to a, a better base. <laughs> Okay, let's try this. Okay, cool. So we've got a we've got a pretty boring pattern right now. Uh, now we're gonna go through it and spice it up with some. Uh, Fill bases, filler bases. This one. Okay, let's try some more pitch modulation here. Let's just turn it up. And then we could also, let's see if we can vocode it. Okay, now we're going to add some background effects. Uh, let's add basic arpeggiator. That. Some of that. Nice and quick for the filter. Let's just have it play some boring stuff. in my sense category. And then just one more background effect. We'll put this on 38. even copy this pattern and make it unique. And then for this last part, okay, and then we could even find some sort of terrible vocal sample to throw in there. Or a, a drum fill, doesn't really matter, let's actually find a drum fill. Get rid of this drum fill a little less, make some more room for it. And then finally, the last thing we need is a crash. That sounds terrible, but it doesn't matter. We're just talking about uh, layout right now. Have plenty of reverb to this.
and plenty of compression. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, that is uh, our rhythm drop. So if you guys have any questions about this or suggestions for what I should do for the next video, uh, please be sure to let me know. And uh, if you enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I'm QBM, and I will see you guys later. What is this chat? Subscribe to QBM? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess that counts then.